Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Stock Market with a free Dow analysis for you after the New York trading session dated Wednesday 5th of January has over. This is now my main wave count. For last analysis it was my alternate. And the alternate is now looking much less likely with this increasing upwards movement and I'll explain why when we get there at the end of this analysis. For the Dow I expect within primary 2 to the upside it's within a C wave at intermediate degrees, subdividing as an impulse with a 1, 2, 3, 4 and towards the end of wave 5. So this is towards the end of a primary second wave and according to this wave count we should be seeing a pretty big important trend change coming up fairly soon. This is an expiring trend, we do have divergence with price trending higher and MACD trending lower on 4 and 8 hourly charts although we can't see that divergence anymore on a 1 or 2 hourly chart. So I expect we've probably got a little bit further up to go and I have an important price point just down here at 11,526 when we move below that point we'll have some confirmation of a trend change. We'll only have confirmation at this stage however of a trend change at primary degree and the confirmation that primary 3 is underway at this stage when price moves below 10,720. I'll explain why when I get to my alternate daily count. Taking you now to an hourly chart where this green 4 here is this green 4 here and we're looking now at the terminal 5th wave at green degree. This 5th wave at green degree most likely subdividing to a simple impulse with a 1, A, B, C here as a contracting ending diagonal. The sharp impulse for 3, 4 has just failed to move into 1 so this is valid. And since I did this chart we've had some further upwards movement. Technically all we need to see now from this point down here on up on an hourly chart is a satisfactory five wave structure and so far it looks like it well it could be an impulse or a diagonal most likely an impulse so that's all we need to see to expect that we could be on the verge of a trend change at primary degree I expect we need to have a little bit of patience with that though and we shouldn't have that trend change initially even at minor degree confirmed until price moves below this point 11,526 because at that point it couldn't just be a second wave correction within wave 5 green. It would have to be wave 5 green being over. And I wouldn't want to put this fourth wave label for 4 green any lower down. However, taking you now to an alternate wave count for the alley chart where it's all the same for this piece of movement and this is exactly the same except thereafter instead of wave 3 orange being over this may only be wave 1 of wave 3 orange. We've had a little second wave and we should be expecting some strong upwards movement for a third wave. This wave count allows for my target that I also have on the daily to possibly be reached at 12,397 points. Wave 5 pink on the daily will reach 2.618 the length of 3 and at 12,479 wave 5 blue on the daily will reach equality with 3 blue. So that's how I've worked out that upper target zone. I'm just taking you back to the previous this, is what, this one doesn't allow for quite as much upwards movement. It's got a maximum length for wave 5 orange if it began here and it's looking likely now that it has as no longer than equal with 3 because 3 is shorter than 1. So this wave count on the hourly chart, this interpretation does not allow for as much upwards movement. But this one does. This wave count will have its initial invalidation only with price movement below 11,600 and I will, would rather wait for a price movement below 11,526 to finally call a trend change at least at my neutral minor degree. This is my alternate daily wave count, the start of C black just off to the left of the chart here. With a 1, 2, 3 and wave 4 blue unfolding as an expanded flat correction with a B wave that's quite a lot longer than wave A now and with this continuing upwards movement it's now comfortably over 130% of A. It's over 138% of A and it's now looking much less like a typical expanded flat structure. For that reason I've swapped it round and now it's my alternate wave count I favour it less. Wave B cannot be more than twice the length of A within an expanded flat. That point is reached at 11,960 points. So there's a maximum upwards length for wave B for this wave count to remain valid. Importantly, what that means, if we see a decent sized trend change and some strong downwards movement after this trend has finally expired, 
prior to price reaching 11,960, then this wave count will remain valid and it could just be the C wave of a fourth wave correction and we will not have confirmation of an end of primary 2 and the resumption of primary 3. If, however, this upwards trend continues a little bit further and manages to push up to 11,960 or above, then when we have a nice big trend change, this wave count will be invalidated and the big trend change, once we have it confirmed with some further downwards movement up here in a trend channel breach, we would then have quite a lot of confidence that it would be primary three underway to the downside. So for that reason I'm going to continue charting and presenting this wave count because it has some important implications. I expect, at least in the short term, we've still got a little bit more upwards movement to satisfy that structure to the upside, at least for that main hourly wave count. After that, with this expiring trend, we should be seeing a trend change and it may come soon, or according to my alternate hourly count, it may take quite a bit longer and we can use that target to the upside there. That's all for me with your Dow analysis. I hope this helps you in your trading and I hope everyone else is having a fabulous day.